Marky Mark's Woodshop 101. I'm Amber. And I'm Marky Mark. And this is the Woodshop. We're just staining up the medicine cabinet. sanded nice and smooth and just before you apply your stain you want to use cheesecloth to get any dust off of the surfaces. You can take a little damp cloth and run it over and it'll right braise up any burnished grain that gets put down and then give it a light sanding and it'll take it off so it'll be nice and smooth. And we're using Minwax Gunstock number 231. How can you go wrong with Gunstock? And I'm applying it with a rag. I do have a little brush here, an acid brush for welding I use for the corners. These brushes are great for glue and whatever, they're disposable. So I'm just rubbing it on nice and even, not too much. And make sure you wear gloves. Gloves, gloves are good. Otherwise you get stain on your hands. You should probably roll up your sleeves too so you don't get stain on it. This jacket has stains on it from every job. It's what makes it special. The beloved man rag. Thanks for the help, guys! <laughs> so I'm just about finished. I might come back and put a second coat on. The plywood is really soaking it up. But the uh, Birch being uh, considerably harded, harder and well sanded doesn't soak it up as much as the uh, plywood does. It can also be a very blotchy wood, so that's another reason if you dampen your cloth and run it over there, it'll help keep the blotch out of the wood when you're staining it. However, it will look beautiful. Of course, after we get this one uh, stained, I can set it aside. I want to let it cure for a day. I could probably come back and put another coat on it. That way it'll even everything out too, or help even it out, especially on this plywood. And then we'll have to do the other chest, uh, cabinet, whatever it is. Storage cabinet. Storage cabinet. It's a big medicine chest. That'll be going over the water closet. For much needed girly storage. You can never have too much girly storage. You know, I was thinking, my love, since we put the mirrors on the outside, we could have put them on the inside. I thought about that. I thought about or putting... the inside of the other one, or something. I thought about putting it on the back of it, inside, you know? Uh-huh. Probably both sides would be redundant. It's not like you could use them at the same time. But, should give you lots of mirrors in that room. We added one to the full length one to the back of the door last week. And of course girls like their full length mirrors in the bathroom. Or wherever. 
And that was a Habitat for Humanity find for a couple bucks. It was a nice beveled full length mirror. Also in there we had a round one given to us by a friend that's probably, ooh, three and a half feet round, an antique. It's kind of big. But it's in a bad spot, really. We didn't know exactly the best place to put it. It wound up on the wall in between the sink and the door so that when you open the door it uh, it's behind it. So another way to avoid blotchiness is don't use too much at one time. It'll just sit there in a puddle. You don't want that. You can always add more. It's my method with everything. A little goes a long way. If you need more, you can add it. So, upcoming projects, huh? Well, I think after these cabinets... Oh, we just removed the chimney from the house. Um, all the way down because we're turning the area into a laundry room. So we'll be building the laundry room. Yeah. We had a glitch with the camera, so we couldn't do any film work for the demo of the chimney. I have a couple pictures, but I'll post them probably. These will get mounted in the bathroom. A couple pieces of trim. That room will be done, done, done. Some of the things I need to do may not get filmed, such as crawling under the house and insulating the floor so we can be comfortable next winter, more so. This is just about uh, done drying and ready for a second coat, but my tummy's letting me know that we're through playing the shop for today. So, we'll get back to this tomorrow. And in the meantime, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Marky Mark, extraordinary! Making ordinary things extraordinary.